everybody, PR Rappler is here with another Battle Replay of the Week. This time it's a little bit different. I am actually Let's get this show using on the artillery. I am in my M37, platooned with another M37, and also a SAW 40, I believe. I can't totally see it because the screen's kind of small, but they're both buddies of mine play with them often enough so I just thought that I should upload this game because I haven't uploaded a battle replays of the week in a while and this game was pretty interesting at what actually happened in it and what how the game itself ended up going I don't want to spoil it by saying what was interesting about it you'll just have to see by watching and if you still don't figure it out I will tell you at the end like what I thought was interesting but right now I am just trying to get into position next to my other M37 platoon mate because I figured that we could probably help each other out in the sense if we got like rushed or anything and he and I working together obviously like a almost all of them got spotted with that initial Hellcat run there, so that was pretty crazy. I, I blind shot where the birch gun was last spotted. Unfortunately, he, he wasn't there because if he w if that had gone through, he probably would have died. But if he hadn't died, you would have at least seen like the shell go in, so you know. Now, I, I'm aiming on this guy, but it was going to be a risky shot because of the guy behind him. I shoot anyway. Enemy armor is destroyed. And he ends up getting destroyed there with a pretty lucky shot and also the fact that the shell did not have to travel very far in the air so it got there before somebody else managed to kill him, thankfully. And now we're starting to get spotting again and that's at which point I realized that obviously e the birch gun never even got splashed and... I start making a few mistakes here in that I wasn't looking at the image and realizing that I was going outside my whole range, so every time I was turning, it was turning my hole to the left, which meant that my aiming circle kept becoming big again, which meant I would have had to re-aim every time, which you can see, like, as you can imagine, that like would have been pretty much ridiculous to tr try and possibly and like accurately shoot anybody be when your aiming circle is not very big although for whatever reason in this game I got lucky with some shots when my aiming circle wasn't very big I think this is one of them <laughs> getting that hellcat there without being fully aimed and then I see that the enemy birch gun has very little health I figure somebody else is going to get the kill but I shoot anyway, and it ends up destroying him. But that wasn't as risky of a shot as that Hellcat because of the fact that he was... Uh, Mike, my aimer, was actually fully aimed. And the thing with the M37 is the reload time is not very long. So sometimes it's okay to take some riskier shots without being fully aimed. Because... In all likelihood, it, you might miss a shot, but 10 second reload is nothing compared to some other really long, like, artillery. Like, even, even the tier 5 for American RD, the reload time is like 25, 30 seconds, I believe. And at this point, I see that that's an ELC coming, so I kind of stopped shooting because I figured... Okay, he's probably going to rush us. So I was trying to position with my other M37 friend here to get in position to get that ELC, assuming he came for us. Because clearly he could have come and got us, considering there's nobody on this side. Our entire team is like at their cap and on the left side. But I guess luckily for us, the ELC doesn't come for us. As you'll see here in a second when he's about to be spotted. And at that point, we knew we were in the clear. 
and could start retargeting them again. And at this point, they only have two tanks left. This is another shot that I end up hitting without being fully aimed. Like, you can see my aiming circle was completely messed up, but somehow I took the final one health out, and at this point I'm laughing because I have five kills, but I've been thinking, like, there's no way I'm going to get this Hellcat, right? Well, you're about to see about that. No way I'm going to get him. Oh, Enemy no. I definitely got him, and that's the Top Gun with six kill steals. Pretty crazy, huh?